แล้วกันแน่นอนครับเวลาแห่งความมันเริ่มต้นขึ้นแล้วนะครับเริ่มที่คู่แรกครับพบกันที่น้ำหนัก77กิโลกรัมนะฮะยอดมวยจากบราซิลคนแรกนะครับเป็นเจ้าของเข็มขัดสภามวยไทยโลก2สมัยขอเสียงต้อนรับเดอะแกรนเดียโกเทเซรเซร่าเดอะแกรนประเทศบราซิลยอดมวยจากบราซิลครับครับผมผู้ที่จะขึ้นมาปะทะด้วยนะในครั้งนี้นะครับมาฟิตฟิตเหมือนกันเลยนะฮะเป็นสายเลือดใหม่ของไทยไฟครับทัวร์นาเมนต์ที่แล้วทําไว้ดีมากชนะน็อกทีเคโอในยกที่1เลยนะครับมาลุ้นกันกันว่าไฟนี้จะเป็นอย่างไรนะครับปรบมือดังๆต้อนรับด้วยนี่คือมหาการลุ่มน้ำยมคมพิฆาตมรตดาบัณฑิตสตวรุ่งมาโมรัตนบัณฑิตสตวันรุ่งมหาการลุ่มน้ำยมประเทศไทยจูจูมันกับหันมากิมแล้วบอกว่ามีจักกิมกับตะโตอยู่ในห้องนอนไอเราก็มีรู้มาก่อนว่าที่อยู่ในห้องนอนนั้นมันคืออะไรเพื่อนมันก็บอกเอาไว้อย่างนี้แล้วก็เดินนี้ออกจากห้องไปเพื่อนมันออกไปไม่เท่าไรไม่รู้ว่าเสียงอะไรและก็So you can see our first competitor of the night, 32-year-old Tiago Teixeira from Sao Paulo, Brazil. 
He stands 176 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 77 kgs. He has a professional record of 92 fights, 73 wins, 18 losses, and one draw. We have actually seen him here at Thai Fight before, Aaron. Thai Fight Kamchino, he took Chanajan to an extra round. A very good fight for Teixeira. Yeah, this of course at a higher weight category for Teixeira, but another chance to prove his worth here at Thai Fight. And there, you can see his opponent Second time at Thai fight. Complicat, more Ratana Bandit, saw Tawan Rung. 23 year old from Prai Province in Thailand, 180 centimeters tall. He has a professional record of 73 fights, 61 victories with 10 losses and two draws. The current Lumpini Stadium champion at 168 pounds, and also the MNA champion, also at the same weight. First time out at Thai fight. Complicat won via a first round knockout. Yeah, he looked fantastic. Well, all right, Fight Fans, I'm Adam Martin, joined by Aaron Siri Sampan here at Central Westgate in Bangkok, Thailand. As we wait for COVID-19 to end, we can enjoy Muay Thai tonight with the Westgate 10. 10 fights, Senchai, Kitty, PTT, and a few old friends. There might be no Batman or Raza Ghul tonight, but an exit from the shadows, an entrance to the light for Ikwazang and Sayok and their return to the Thai fight ring. Can they win? Let's find out, and Thai fight begins. Did that rhyme as well? I'm a little bit of a Dr. Seuss. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. I can't get away from it. It's my nice, crutch. Oh, nice aerial come. Oh, that's very cool. Well, I'm a little bit dizzy now, though. <laughs> oh, good left hand there from Teixeira. Really strong left kicks from Compilcart. Compilcart again looking in tremendous shape. Knocked down his opponent last time out at Thai fight before finishing the fight in the very first round. Teixeira already cut Adam over, yeah, the, I, over the right eye. I saw that. That's what happens with card check, folks. You can see the rope hands. We've got 10 fights this evening. Eight of those fights will be by, with the ropes. Just two glove fights, Teixeira -ja and, of course, Sanchai. Another strong body kick there. Yeah, I mean, even those left kicks that Teixeira is catching on his arms got to hurt. He got cut pretty much instantaneously. It's almost like he got cut with the, the sound of the bell. It might have been a, a, a haircut that he had before <laughs> he came out. Left high kick again for, from Combi Kart. Swinging right hand, but this is the mark. It was a nice left hand in there as well from Teixeira. Complicat taking his time. Now he throws that left kick so casually, but there's it, a lot of weight behind it. Indeed. Take share Odin his hold. Four or five left kicks there from Complicat to the body and also to the right arm of Tixera. Back to the center of the ring they go. Complicat looking for an elbow. Again, back to that left kick. Right kick from Teixeira that time. Like Adam said, he has fought a tie fight before, taking Chanachon, former Rajinam Nern Stadium champion, to a fourth round. He lost by decision. Yeah, I mean, he was clearly the bigger fighter in that fight, or at least he looked bigger. But he's Indeed. up against a big boy tonight yeah, in Kampakar. He is a jack Brazilian. Nice right kick to the arms there from Complicat. Inside kick from the Brazilian. Again, good hands. Good left hand again there from Teixeira. Yeah, Acknowledged by Complicat. Oh, now it's elbow there from Complicat. Good fight so far. Good even fight in this opening round here at Thai Fight Begins. Left and right hands coming down from the Thai Fighter. Body shots from the Brazilian, changing levels that time. End of round one. Well, it's already Kompakar's longest fight here at Thai Fight. <laughs>well, there you can see highlights of the uh, very first round here at Thai Fight begins. Solid elbows from Kompakar. That one especially caught Tixera on the side of the head. The head that's tattooed, might I add, just in case you didn't realize it was tough enough. Oh, that's a beautiful 
left head kick. Yeah, Second. tattoos on the back, on the head, and then Kampakar gave him a little tattoo over his right eye as well. He's trying to catch him again with those body shots. To be fair, I can take a close look at that cut in between rounds, and it's not that deep, it's not that serious. Not a great spot, but I don't think it's going to bother him too much going forward. Oh, oh good beautiful good. left hand. They were actually telling him to do that in the corner. During the end of that first round, they were telling him to go in with those left and right hooks. He's been listening. Yeah, I mean, those were the best moments he had in the first as well, Aaron, when they were closing that distance into the clinch. He was connecting with short, wide punches. And he's doing again. it again here in round two. Pumpercart's got all he can handle early in this fight. Tough test this for Compicart. He put in such a, a fantastic performance in his debut. Big things expected of him. Oh, oh. oh no. strike one and strike two. Crowd loves it, shows some appreciation. Good movement from Texera. That range is really dangerous for Compicart. Yeah, Tixera's happy to fight in the pocket. Exactly. He wants Copycat to get close so he can throw those left and right hooks. Copycat. Looking for a push kick. Also looking for a left body kick and high kick as he did in the first fight. Oh, there we go. I don't think Copycat needs to get that close, Aaron. He could just stay on the outside and launch that left kick. Tixera happy to counter fight. Nose trickling from the, sorry, blood trickling from the nose of Teixeira and of the two eyes also cut. It's probably just scar tissue that's reopened. Another good solid left hand there from Copycat. Teixeira maybe a little bit tired here. Another good elbow there from the Thai fighter. Yeah, look at that face. Bit of exhaustion, oh. caught a left there. Blood streaming from the eyes and the nose. He looks like me after a night of grading essays, Aaron. <laughs> Teixeira is tough, no doubt about it. Compacard looking to finish this fight with elbows. Well, it's been a fantastic fight so far. Compacard, his first time out, last event, didn't have much of a challenge, really. Looked phenomenal. He looks fantastic tonight, but in a different way. In a back and forth, tough fight with, as we said before, Aaron, a really tough opponent in Teixeira who took Tenetan to four rounds previously. What a fight, end of the second round here at Titan. A story of grit and determination from both these fighters. Our very first fight of Tight fight begins, as we can see, Copycat there looking for that left high kick and then a spinning back fist that both miss. In that second round, Copycat did take it to Teixeira. Opened up a few wounds on that face as we go into the third and final round. I kind of think Teixeira won that second round, Aaron. Am I crazy for thinking Yeah, that? you are crazy, I'm crazy, definitely. okay, <laughs> just checking. Copycat coming out swinging. I don't know, I feel like Copycat thinks the same thing because he's coming out I'm like a man with a mission in I round think, three. I think he wants to finish the fight. Oh, good right elbow. Oh, oh, oh they oh, cut oh. him. Cut him on top of the head on one of those I tattoos. It, I think it was some... Oh, oh. What happened? Finger poke or something? He gestured like it was a finger poke, an mm. illegal shot. But there's also an elbow shot that caught Tixera on the top of the head, and now blood is dripping down. You can see yeah. it there. This is where having hair is oh. beneficial. <laughs> Nice kick to the body there from Kampako. Another swing and a miss there from the Thai fighter with that left kick. The problem with that kundo is though, Adam, it's dripping right into the eye. Yeah, that's why then he needs hair to catch it. It's going to go right down his face. More elbows coming in from Kampakart. Nice Again. combination. Very smooth and fluid is Copycat. Doesn't look like, like you said in the first round, doesn't look like he puts a lot of effort or throws anything with heat. It's all about technique. It's very smooth. 
Good right hand there again from the Thai fighter. Yeah, almost the Nick Diaz approach to striking. Just pops those strikes out there. Doesn't have to put everything behind him because he's got so much weight on his strike, so much weight and technique. And you can definitely see what you sort of alluded to in the second round, Aaron, that Teixeira's flagging. He started to look a little bit tired in round two, and that's continued here to round three. That was a really nice right kick to the body there from Teixeira, but most of this third round has been Kampakart. Another right body kick from Teixeira, but a nice left hand from Kampakart. Looking for that downward elbow. And then another right elbow coming in from Kampakart, and again. Teixeira is so tough. He's absorbed a lot of punishment. Still standing, still moving forward. Doesn't look like anything bothers him. Final stages of this third and final round here. Teixeira's face. It's a mess. It is a mess. Yeah. I don't want to stereotype or anything, but it almost seems like the kind of people that can put tattoos on their neck <laughs> and their head are like, don't really get bothered by elbows. <laughs> Whoa, looking for that 100,000 baht. Turns if you out do, their pain yeah, tolerance is pretty yeah, high. If you do knock out your opponent with a spinning back heel kick like that, you win 100,000 baht thanks to our sponsors at Chang and Kompikart. The first fighter to try it here tonight. Good oh, left hand nice there from Teixeira. Kompikart smiling though. End of the third and final round. Great way to start. Tie fight begins. We'll go to our judges for a decision. สามเวียนเลือดของตัวจริงโอ้โหตอนนี้กระเด็นเข้าเวทีก็เลือกก็กระดุยกระจายเต็มออกเลยนะครับเราก็ต้องคอยคอยเดินลงมาฮะเสื
มาเยี่ยมนะครับถ้าจะมาจิกตาคู่ต่อสู้หรือเปล่าเดี๋ยวมาดูกันดีกว่านะครับคนนี้เนี่ยนะครับเป็นนักชกจากเมืองกระบี่นะฮะชกทีไลเวทีเดือดทุกทีเดือดทุกครั้งเพราะเขาเดือดจริงๆเดือดจริงๆนะครับมาดูกันนะครับคนนี้เดินลุยอย่างเดียวไม่มีถอยครับปรบมือต้อนรับด้วยกับจอมบูทะเลเดือดพยักสมุยลูกจะพ่อรกเติมลูกเจ้าพ่อโรงต้มจอมบูทะเลเดือดประเทศไทยสมุยบ้านเราดินแดนยิ่งใหญ่เองนอกเองไม่ใช่คนไกลรวมแรงรวมใจสมุยบ้านเราพี่เอ๋ยน้องเอ๋ยสมุยบ้านเราSee the young Fabio Reyes, 23 year old fighter from Portugal, 174 centimeters tall, fighting at a weight of 69 kilograms. His record 43 fights, 32 wins, 11 losses. This is his first time here at Thai Fight. He'll be fighting the roller coaster by X Samui. <laughs> the new nickname's gonna stick, I guess. <laughs> and there you can see the man. Adam was just talking about Pai Xamui, Luk Chao Parong Tom, 20 years old, from Krabi in Thailand, 174 centimeters tall, 108 fights with 85 victories, 19 losses and 4 draws. A former Thai fight champion of 2018 at 72.5 kilograms. Well, if you're watching at home, don't forget to join our selfie competition. Take a picture of yourself. I think that's how it works. Cool one, take a cool one, post it on TIE Fight's Facebook page, and you could win uh, a selfie stick? What Signed is what photo is of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what does. Now take a selfie of yourself watching TIE Fight in the background. Uh, is, is, it, is that a requirement? That's the requirement, yes. Okay. Can it be a TikTok video? Well, yeah. If that, what's that? It's like a, you do a little eight second dance that is amazing. Do they have a MySpace Changes as the well? World. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, the, the good news is the Thai MCs are disqualified from entering this competition, so there is a chance for everybody <gasps> else out there to win. There you go. All right. Round R one. Second fight of the evening. I should mention as well that all fighters were tested for COVID previous to, uh, previous to the fight, so the medical center all passed, of course. And like I said in the previous fight, if you can knock your opponent out via a spinning back kick, you will win 100,000 baht, thanks to our sponsors over at Chang. 
Reyes has got some serious legs on him. Yeah, he's a big boy. Not a bad record as well. 43 fights with 32 victories. Swing and a miss there from Payek Samui. Good outside fight kick there from the Portuguese fighter. Looking to snap that jab. Good right hand there from Payek Samui. Payek Samui in his last time out here at Thai Fight. Won via decision, a very, very close fight though. It was a great fight, fight of the night. Good uppercut there from Riaz. Looking for that high kick from Payek Samui. Blocks it there, moves in with the left elbow. Very aggressive from Payek. Again, Reese trying to concentrate on the right leg of Payek Samui. Yeah, he's putting in work. That will help him later in this fight if he makes it there. Looking for an uppercut again. Mike Samui covering up well that time. But again, easily taking it to the outside leg there of Pike Samui. Nice combination from Reese. Left kick, sorry, left hook followed by a right low kick. And he's really working those legs. Swinging and searching for that left hook out of him. Here comes Pike Samui again. Right hand, right elbow. Oh, solid body kick there from the Thai fighter. He's looking for an up kick. There's that left hook attempt. Solid kick to the body from Payek Samui. Oh, wow. Might have been the best strike of the fight. It was landed outside the ring. Another body. nice right kick to the body from Payek. And then a nice low kick from Reyes. But I do feel like if you're going to be trading kicks to the leg for kicks to the body, it's not a and again trade that Reyes is going to win. That time he fakes and goes high. Nice Good body shot as well. Really even fight so far out of Pikes Mui. Not finding that rhythm. Well, Reyes has been really busy yes. in the first round. Very busy. There goes Pikes Mui, though. He's dangerous. End of round one. First round. Nice overhand right that nearly connected clean for Reyes. But really, the highlight of that round was just the work. There you can see some of it that Reyes was putting in on Payak Samui's legs. Just multiple low kicks thrown to the inside, to the outside, to the lead leg, to the rear leg. He really did the whole package. You called it a very close round, Aaron. Would you feel comfortable giving that first round to Reyes? Yeah, I would. Like you said, very close. Difficult to pick a winner. Yeah, Payak did land some really nice right kicks to the body, but I think he was just uh, outgunned by the volume of Reyes in that first round. Good combination again from the Portuguese. It's not just about one shot. Even there, he's looking to the body, then going up to the top. Oh, but he got caught with that time. Good right hand just from about to say that's a stylistic difference, isn't it? Hayek is the one-shot wonder. Right. Whereas Reyes seems really good at throwing combinations. Reyes again, Reyes again looking to go to the back leg there of Payek Samui. They've even covered it in Vaseline. Must be damaged. Yeah, really impressed with the output of Reyes. Those yeah, combinations are doing so much good work for him, but you know, we've seen it from Payak before, Aaron. One shot sometimes is all it takes, especially when you've got those roped hands. It really has been non-stop from Reyes. He hasn't given time, hasn't given Pike to really time to settle and to pick that one shot that we've seen him throw and connect so many times and knock his opponents out with. And that's what Payak might need in a fight like this. Oh, not leg out of He's in trouble. He's going to blame it on the, the water there. But he's taking a lot of damage to those legs. Oh, and again, that almost buckled him. Moving in for that elbow shot. And even when he does move in for shots, Reyes is still going to the leg and covering up enough that Pike's move cannot connect with that. Oh, right. a nice left hand. You're starting to see some damage in the face of Pike Samoy as well. 
Yeah, but it's all about that back leg, Adam. It might still be hurt from the uh, the previous fight that Pikes and Rui had a couple of months ago. Yeah, if we recall that fight, Aaron, he was getting a lot of leg kicks Indeed. and wasn't checking them. Yep. We were kind of calling them him out on them in the first couple of rounds. He wasn't checking those kicks. Oh, good knee there for Pikes and Rui. Trying to back up Reese, get him against those ropes. He's starting to block those kicks at last. But again, all output from Reese. Yeah, I wonder if that's something that Reyes looked at before this fight. Took a look at that last fight from Hayek Samui and realized that he doesn't check low kicks and decided to use that as his strategy in this fight. Good solid knee there from Hayek Samui. He's finding, it, finding a hole for that left knee. Almost connects with that right elbow. And if in doubt, throw that low kick. Oh, look at him high with that knee. Almost connects. Yeah, great dexterity might have there. Just, yeah, might have just grazed the nostrils of the Portuguese fighter. Woo, end of round two. Well, we start the highlight reel off with a beautiful right hand by Hayek Samui. Might have been his best strike of the round. Because again, it was Reyes with that buffet of low kicks. Just yep. working the legs of Payek Samui. Uh, he actually blocked that, that knee strike. I thought he actually connected. That was the one. He actually ended up hitting himself <laughs> on that one as well. I really think this third round, Aaron, is going to be up to conditioning and attrition. Can Reyes keep up the output that he's done so far in the first two rounds? How affected is Payak Samui by all the damage he's taken to his legs in those first two rounds? I feel like Reyes is up to oh, nothing. Great knee from Reyes, and then moves in with an elbow. Payak Samui's very good at blocking, very good at dipping low, and covering up. He's good at winning close fights as well. <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to say if Reyes wants to win this fight, true. he's going to have to make it super clear. The body shot there from Pike's move. Oh, spinning back kick Going attempt Going for there. that money. Yeah, why not? Pink man. Pike's move, looking for that elbow. Good blocking there from Reese again. Yeah, he needs a fight changing strike. That's what he's known for, and that's what he's looking for. Again, Reese blocking up well. Reyes has fought such a smart fight. You can hear the grunting of Pyatt Samui. Oh, he's looking tired for the first time out of his Reyes. Pyatt Samui in more, much more of a groove right now. Oh, he caught him there. He's catching him, but I don't think he has any power left. He's just going through the motions right now, whereas Pyatt Samui is actually connecting with some stronger shots. He's throwing, he's connecting, but it's not doing any damage. Pikes and has a chance right here. Good body shot there for Pikes and I think that's a good tact, why not? Go to the body. He's tired already, he could sap all the air out of him with one good body shot. Yeah, also just grabbing a hold of him, closing that range. Reyes hasn't really shown the ability to land any good strikes in the clinch. Most of his work has been from the outside, the low kicks. Payak's not letting him keep that range, he's just closing in on him. Oh, good elbow there from Reese. Another good knee to the body from Payak Samiri. Reese is exhausted, he's looking to his corner for help. But Pikes Samiri not moving forward. I think he was looking at you, Eric. <laughs> Get in there and help the man. A shot from Reese, but a nice body kick from Payak Samui. It's been a very resilient round for Payak Samui. After all the damage he took to his legs in the first two rounds, his third round was the strongest round yet. I don't know, I still have Reese winning the first two rounds there, but it would not surprise me if Payak Samui squeaks out another victory. Well, let's find out.
แอร์คู่สองครับโอ้โหจบยกสายยังไม่มีแบบน็อกยกติงเลยนะดูกันไปแบบเผลกันไปเผลกันตายคนเดียวโอ้โหไปยกเนี่ยตอนพูดเนี่ยเป็นตอนที่ฟันก็เป็นอะไรนะโอ้โหไม่แผ่วเลยเพื่อนนะฟังอยู่นะเนี่ยนะโอ้โหแต่คราวนี้นะโอ้โหแม้ยังรวดแต่ก็สู้ถึงยกสามเป็นไงครับคู่สองมันไหมครับทุกคนโอ้โหมันสั่นไปในแค่คู่สองมาเยาสมุยนี่ก็แก้เกมไม่ดีเข้าวงไกลสองเลยคะแนนเป็นยังไงผลอยู่ในมือผมเลยนะครับจะประกาศแล้วนะฮะเดอะฟินเนอร์ผู้ชนะได้แก่เธอพยักสมุยลูกจะพอร้องต้องพร้อมใช่เลยผู้ชนะนะครับเป็นกำลังใจกับผู้ที่บ้าไปด้วยนะฮะนี่ก็คือนะกีฬาครับเกมกีฬานะครับรู้จักกับใครกันนะแต่แพ้ชนะนะครับยอมรับนะครับว่าแล้วก็หุยเนี่ยรูปทรงมวยเนี่ยรักษาไว้ได้ดีมากนะครับช่วงสองที่หลังเนี่ยคอยลูกสาวเล่นขอบคแนนขึ้นใช่กับมือพี่แก่น้ำหนักที่70กิโลกรัมนะครับคนแรกเป็นยอดมวยจากสหรัฐอเมริกามากับเชิงมวยที่ดุดันอีกแล้วพร้อมมาดับความซ่านักมวยไทยเขาบอกนะครับขอเสียงต้อนรับเมื่อกี้เยียวคราวนี้เป็นอินทรีพยองกลาสโซนมาตินอเลนกลาสโตนมาตินอาเลนอินทรีพยองประเทศสหรัฐอเมริกามาแล้วนะครับกลางปีกโบยบินมาเลยอินทรีพยองจากสหรัฐอเมริกาในรุ่น70กิโลกรัมเนี่ยนะครับเขาคนนี้เคยเป็นตัวยืนเจ้าของแชมป์ในรุ่นนี้มาก่อนนะฮะเอ้าแล้วเขาหายไปไหนมาเขาเคยเป็นเนี่ยฮะกว่า3ปีครับหุยหายคนคิดถึงเลยเพราะว่าอาจจะไปฝึกวิชาเพิ่มมาเคยวิชาคนนี้ไม่ธรรมดาไม่ธรรมดานะครับฉายาของเขานะครับคือโหดขั้นเทพนะฮะวันนี้3ปีเนี่ยนะฮะที่หายไปจะโหดเหมือนเดิมหรือโหดกว่าเดิมครับผมบอลลุยกันครับขอเสียงดังๆด้วยให้กับโหดขั้นเทพอีกคิวซังก็รุกธนาเกียร์มาแล้ว
Darius Gladstone, Martin Allen, 35-year-old fighter from Massachusetts, USA. 175 centimeters tall. This fight takes place at 70 kgs. He has a professional record of 47 fights, 30 wins, 15 losses, and two draws. He has fought here at Thai Fight before at Mesot versus PTT, where he suffered a second round KO. It's a strange reunion, Aaron, as both fighters return to Thai Fight. Yeah, and feels like I've just joined Thai Fight again, Adam, because <laughs> Ikyu Zhang Ko Rung Tanakiat is back. 31 year old from Surin province in Thailand, 173 centimeters tall, 100. And 99 fights. This is his 200 fight, 172 victories with 22 losses and five draws. And how's he been fighting lately, Aaron? Last time we saw him was 2017 in Paris. Um, 28 fights at Thai Fight, 22 wins with six losses. However, his last win was in 2016, and he's currently riding a seven-fight losing streak. But. He's got Thai Fight written on his back. He is loyal. He is up for it. Let's see what happens. Oh! Oh! Wow, looks He's like bringing a guy, the heat! Looks like a guy who's fighting for a check. <laughs> Just checking out a spinning back fist, then goes into a knee. Ikuzan wants it. He's fired up. He's enjoying himself out there. Trying to stop that seven fight losing streak. Chasing the American down. Is he going to tire himself out though? He has been susceptible to body shots, that's that EQ sign. Nice jab there. From Gladstone. Good right hand there from the American. And Martin Allen looks like he's in for it. Oh! Oh, that might have been the me to the nether regions. The little lake designs. That's one way to slow him down. Yeah, he's in real pain right now. I'd love to see a replay of that. Oh, he's in agony. Oh. Do you want to see that again? Oh boy. Oh. oh yeah, that's that's the loudest I've heard the crowd all night. We all ooed at the same time, Aaron. God, what a way to come back to tie fight. Welcome back. Here's a knee between the legs. I feel awful for him. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Not at all what you what you want. It was really putting on a show. Uh -oh. He's back up. I think we're well, gonna. I'm, I'm clapping. I'm also clapping. I hope they give him another five minutes to recover. There's no need to rush, right? This is where the doctors really earn their money. I think they should go and check the cup. They might have broken it. Timeout. Well, since we're on a timeout, let me remind you that. Take a if, selfie? <laughs> yeah, take a selfie, please. Of uh, TIE Fight in the background. Don't forget, we're live on YouTube as well as on Channel 8. Yeah, give us your best I've been hitting, hitting the growing face. <laughs> <laughs> that should be interesting. But yeah, it's a really Zang. fun start to the round, too, yeah, Very fun. Ikuzan came out, guns are blazing, but that was that is horrifying. Delicious. Yeah, I mean, can you just straight up take a point away for a first-time offense? I mean, that was like... Every man feels the pain that Ikuzan is going through right there. Oh. Even the MC, you can see his mouth. Oh. <laughs> ah, but it's a... Yeah, good. We're back to the ring. All right. Team Ikuzang. <laughs> yeah, I've never been a bigger fan in my life. Have they taken a point? Yeah, I'll take a point. Yeah, away. you know what? I think that's fair because that was, I mean, really inexcusable. 
wasn't really close to being anywhere else. And oh. it could have been the end of the fight. All right. Sully high kick deck. Looking for a spinning end to Gurry. Nikosang's fighting for his boys now. Coin with an elbow. Jumping knee attempt there from Allen. Nikosang looking for that right hand, another right high kick. Again, looking for a body strike. Gotta say though, Allen looks in tremendous shape. He does. Nikosang stalking him. But wearing those white shorts and being down one point, I think he's gonna have to knock out Nikosang twice to win this fight. Looking for that spinning, he's trying to count that money, $100,000, $100,000, $100,000, if you can knock your opponent out with a spinning back kick. You see that Martin Allen just landed inside the high kick and Ikusan was like trembling. Elbows coming in from Allen, Ikusan looking for that right hand, good side in there from the Thai fighter. Again, looking for the right hand is Ikusai. Alan moving forward. Trying to, wake, trying to take away the stance of Ikusai. Ikusai moving forward, knocks Alan back with an elbow. And again, looking for the elbow right the to the one temple. Like it connected. Alan says nothing doing. Nicky Sun takes that personally. And the wrong one. I was going to say nice combination, but Mark Allen disagrees. <laughs>
คงจะรู้อยู่แล้วว่าเราจะได้เจอใครนะครับแต่ตอนนี้คือพูดทัชชิงเขาครับพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก51กิโลกร,รัมยอดมวยหญิงจากบราซิลนะครับบนรอยยิ้มมีความโหดรอยอยู่ขอเสียงต้อนรับสวยสังหารบาร่าอาคุยบาร่าอาคุยสวยสังหารประเทศบราซิลสวยสังหารจากบราซิลนะครับมาแล้วนะฮะสาวหนึ่งเดียวของเราเหมือนกันในรุ่น51กิโลกรัมก็ต้องเธอคนนี้เลยใช่ครับไปที่แล้วคู่ต่อสู้ของเธอเย็บไปถึง14เข็มโอ้โหเล่นบุกไม่ยั้งเลยสวยน่ารักแต่พอขึ้นเวทีปุ๊บนี่ไม่คุยเลยนะฮะปล่อยมัดสับสอกแทงข่าวเยียวเลยนะครับขอเสียงปรบมือต้อนรับด้วยสาวหล่อจอมระหำเพชรจีจ้าลูกเจ้าพ่อร้องเติมพี่ชนะไฟนี้เดี๋ยวพี่จะพาไปเที่ยวทะเลนะคะท่านแม่ผู้หญิงเพื่อปฏิเสธพี่นะเสื้อที่พี่ใส่อยู่เนี่ยสีดำนะคะหนูขาแต่หัวใจพี่ไม่ดำนะคะพี่จะทําเต็มที่เพื่อนหนูขาเลยนะคะนะคะคุณดีพ่อโรงต้มสาวหล่อจอมระหับประเทศไทย
fighting out of the white corner is Barbara Aguiar, 25-year-old fighter from Brazil, 165 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 51 kilograms. Her professional record, 30 fights, 22 wins, 6 losses, and 2 draws. And there you can see the queen of Thai fights. Pet Ji Jao, Luk Jao for Rong Tom. 18 years old, originally from Chonburi province in Thailand. 160 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 203 fights, 186 victories, 15 losses, with two draws. She looks like she's got the haircut you were trying to get, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, she's got great hair. <laughs> no, it's great to see Pet Ji Jao back on the Thai fight roster. I hope she stays. She did fight a few years back here at Thai Fight. Did great, of course. Knocked out her opponents. Then we didn't see her again until a couple of months back when we returned after COVID. And I'm hoping she stays. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to make an effort to keep her as part of the roster, which I, hope I so. couldn't be a bigger fan of. I think that she's an absolute star. I'm always singing her praises. I probably fanboy out a little bit too much <laughs> where she's concerned, but she's just a fascinating figure in Thailand. She's got a very interesting history. If you haven't checked it out, I strongly recommend that you YouTube her. And she's just, you know, more than anything, she's just a fantastic fighter. Yeah, she was. Uh, she grew up fighting boys, beating boys. I think there's a documentary or, or snippets on YouTube of the girl who fights boys. And she really made a name for herself growing up in Thailand, competing against boys and winning them. Yeah, they couldn't find, basically she was so tough when she was a kid, we're talking like under 10. They couldn't find fights for her, so they just put her in the ring with boys, and she more than held her own. And then she, I believe, after Thai fight, she decided to go into professional boxing, or at least amateur, should I say, amateur boxing. But I'm not sure what happened with that, but who cares, because she's now back here at Thai fight, making a name for herself once again, and I really do think she can become an even bigger star than she was before. Yeah, you said it was rumored that she's got a really interesting fight lined up for the future as well. Yeah, there was talk. I'm not sure if it's come to fruition or yet. Uh, uh, taking on uh, Manfredi, who is the left wing champion. It would be an incredible fight, and that would take place ne next month. That would be a real test. However, there is a test for her right here. In the black corner from Thailand, Pet Ji Ja, Luk Jao Purong Tom. And in the white corner from Brazil, Barbara. Aguiar. I believe Barbara Aguiar trains out of Phuket Fight Club, which is a very renowned club here in uh, in Thailand. They have some tremendous fighters, notably Julio Lobo. And, uh, yeah, he used Kajai. to fight here at Thai yeah, Fight quite a bit and, and has sort of ascended. And, and Kajiba as well, who's a former WBC world champion. There's a very strong contingent of Brazilian fighters here in Thailand. There's three on the card tonight. Here we go, round one of our first and only female bout on and the card tonight. And the first of two glove fights, all the rest card check. Aguirre has fought on Super Chat before. And has won on Super Chat before as well, should be noted. Nice left hand there for Petri She looks comfortable in there, Adam. Barbara with a reach advantage and a five centimeter height advantage as well. She'll probably want to employ that because Pet Ji can be awfully tough on the inside when she starts launching those elbows. Beautiful left shot there to the body from Pet Ji Again, left and right combination coming in. Outside, outside kick there. Moving forward. Good foot movement from the Thai fighter. Decimated her last opponent in a comeback fight here at Thai Fight. Yeah, Stopping her in the first round. Shredded her with elbows, left her a bloody mess. Nice Get combination you. there from Pet Chicha. Changing levels, showing that boxing skill you alluded to. Nice right kick attempt back from the queer. Both fighters taking turns catching each other's kicks. 
Then Pechija initiating the clinch with the taller fighter. I don't know if that's a wise move. Outside kick from Pechija. Again, looking for that right hand. And again with that left body hook. She's caught her three or four times there from the body. Solid elbow. That elbow. Right hand there from Petri Jow over the top of the left glove. But and again, look. that one knocked her off balance. Petri Jow moving in. She's looking for those elbows, those short arm salutes, as you like to call them, Adam. There is a little well under the eye of Petri Jow, the left eye. Another one two combination. Oh, beautiful stuff. Nice there's body that, shot. Yeah, there's that shot again. Oh, she caught it with an elbow there, Adam. Good shot there from Aguiashi. Anticipated the movement from Petri Ja. She threw out that elbow and Petri Ja just walked straight into it. End of round one. Great first round. Nice competitive first round there from both fighters. Beautiful body shot, head shot combination there. Showcasing the boxing talent that Pet Chija has. And a nice body kick there as well. How would you score that first round, Aaron? Well, I think Pet Chija did edge it with the, uh, the amount of shots that she, she scored. But Some of those boxing combinations. Aguiar certainly not out of this, not by yeah, Aguiar, I was any stretch of the her, I was impressed with her composure. You know, you're looking at the 18-year-old girl in Petri Jha that has 200 fights. And you're talking about Aguiar, 30 fights. That is a world of difference. For sure. Aguiar trying to use that tallness, using those lengthy knees to the body of Petri Jha. Looks comfortable in the clinch. I was impressed with her composure in the clinch in the first round as well, there. And that's the... The issue that Petchi Jaj does move in too close to try and hit him with those elbows. Barbara can lift the knee up to the body of Petchi Jaj. The right elbow there from the tight fighter. And again, good clinch work from the Brazilian. Yeah, most of the elbows that Petchi Jaj is getting off are when she's closing the distance rather than when she's stuck inside the clinch with Aguiar. And a bit Petchi Jar is struggling with the range just a little bit. And we are much more aggressive in this round. She obviously knows she lost the first. I love those body shots. Using them almost as a jab. First strike in, shot to the body. A lot of fighters out there, they are tall, they are rangy, but they don't really know how to use it. And Andrea, even though she lacks experience, is using that length and that range to frustrate Pet Gija. Nice outside kick there from Pet Gija. There's Rips that shot the again. Body. Aguiar has took a lot of punishment to those body, but she looks okay, she's looking strong. No deep breaths yet from the Brazilian that I've noticed. Good outside kick. Chopping down the tree. Yeah, just constant pressure from Petji Job. Trying to crack the composure of Aguiar, but it hasn't happened yet. The Brazilian fighter really has been so cool, calm, and collected throughout these first two rounds. The corner of Aguiar screaming at her to move forward instead of moving back. Again, there's that ripping shot. And again, she's finding a hole every time for that shot. There you can see the leg difference, catching the kick, but cannot connect from the outside. End of the second round. There's some of the highlights from 
right-hand side, the clinch, the Jija battling the taller Aguiar. Nice right hand there from the Brazilian fighter. A nice bank with an overhand right. In round three we go. It's been a very competitive fight. I do think that Chicha has edged both rounds. I go along with that. But no shame in what Aguiar has been able to do so oh, far against a very technique. tough, experienced opponent. And Petty Job. Ripping a left to the body, then a left to the head, and then yeah, a some right of her, elbow. Some Beautiful. of her boxing techniques, combinations are, are really advanced stuff. Also, shout out to uh, Leo, the head trainer at Phuket Fight Club. He's doing wonders with these Brazilian fighters out of Aguayer, Lobo, Pajiva. Pressy stuff over at Phuket Fight Club. Another good left shot to the body there. Right hand from Petty Jar. Why is the referee's letting that go, to be honest? <laughs> yeah, so far catching the kick hasn't worked too well for her. Just, distance has been too far for her to land effective strikes. A little left knee there from Petty Jar. Going to the body, the first time I've seen Aguiar Grimace. Corner of Aguiar screaming at him to move forward. Well, I don't mean to be too much of a defeatist for her, but I feel like she's been pretty elegant moving backwards. <laughs> she's done all right for herself. I mean, obviously, that's as a corner man, you don't, you don't say that, hey, you've been doing all right out there. But it's tough to move forward against Petita. She's a bulldog. Really searching for those body strikes. So this will be a real good life experience for Aguiar. Fighting it, one of the best female fighters around. Looking like she's gonna go the distance with us. She's gonna learn so much from this experience. Yeah, I think so as well. Surely a big confidence booster. Still moving forward. And again, digging with that left hook to the body. I love that. From Petri Char. I mean, she's taking what the fight is giving her. She's been unable to really connect on those devastating elbows you saw her use last time. Like a lot of the male fighters would take note of Petri Char's boxing abilities. End of the third and final round will go to the judges for a decision. โอ้มาแล้วครับเอาละครับต่างคนต่างยกมือนะฮะดูซิว่าใครจะชนะนะครับมันแม่คนนี้ถ้ามันขอเสียงหน่อยเลยสุดยอดแม้แต่มวยหญิงของเรานะจากไทยไปก็มันนะฮะไม่แพ้กับมวยไทยเลยทายเลยนะฮะถูกต้องนะครับมุมขาวหรือมุมดําดีครับทุกคนขาวหรือดำเอ้าขาวบ้างเอ้าดำบ้างบางประกาศผลดีกว่าและเดอะวินเนอร์แสดงความยินดีด้วยนะครับกับผู้ชนะแล้วก็เป็นกำลังใจให้กับผู้ที่แพ้ไปในวันนี้เก่งทั้งคู่จริงๆนะฮะโอ้โหแลกกันสุดๆเอาละครับพลังจงกลับมานะครับเพราะว่าคู่มวยมันมันจะกลับแล้วนะฮะกับไทยไฟต์บิ๊กกินนะครับ
คราวนี้เริ่มต้นกันพบกันนะฮะที่พิกัดน้ำหนัก73กิโลกรัมนะฮะตอนแรกนะฮะยอดมวยจากอิหร่านทั้งเดินหน้าเตะนะฮะยัดหมัดใส่นะฮะจะสนุกมันขนาดไหนต้อนรับคนแรกเลยขอเสียงต้อนรับเดอะทันเดอร์ซอมโมฮัมหมัดฮูซีนโดรเดียนกระดกนี่มันยาวจริงโดโรเดียนเดอะทันเดอร์สตอร์ประเทศอิหร่านยอดมวยชาวอิหร่านนะครับเดอะชันเดอร์โซมาเลยนะครับในรุ่น73กิโลกรัมนี้นะครับมาเจอกับคนนี้เลยนะครับนี่คือยอดแชมป์อินสุดครับซูเปอร์ไฟท์ออร์นิวอินสุดดีแม็กซ์พลังดุภาพคลิกโลกครับไม่ธรรมดานะครับดูพลังของเขากันก่อนนะครับฉายาขุนศึกแดนดอกคูนส่งเสียงดังนั้นต้อนรับแสนสะท้านพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยเยมพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยหยิบขุนศึกแดนดอกภูมิประเทศไทยวันงานวันงานมืดนี่เป็นวันงานเทศกาลบ้านเฮากระดกเบียกระดกเหล่ากินให้เมาเมาเมาเงาหนารสแห่อารสแห่รสแห่อารสแห่รสแห่เสียงลำสิงมาถึกทิ้งคักแท้ยกมือสิแกเฮ้ยยูคันซีมูฮัมหมัดฮุเซนดารูดิยันเดอะทันเดอร์สโตรมจะมายเอ็กซ์เพลนอัลเดอะเรมวีเบนฮาวิงเลตลีทวีนายเ
27 years old, originally from Konkem province in Thailand. 173 fights, 183 victories, with 30 losses and 5 draws. A former Lumpini Stadium champion, champion of Thailand, Isuzu Cup Super Fight Champion of 2017 and also the Thai Fight Champion also in 2017 at that weight that I just said, 70 kilograms. Also, I just wanted to see if you maybe had one more oh. opinion. <laughs> to be fair, they are almost identical in height. Virtually identical. It's strange because and I feel like Sunstar has the frame. No, one centimeter when they get together like that, it looks like the Rudian is well, they have Darudian listed at 184 and Sensatarn listed at 183. Mm. And Sensatarn usually is really tall for the guys he's fighting. Now he's just one centimeter shorter. I don't think it's one centimeter, honestly. When they got together then, well, maybe I'm wrong. I don't see, Two I don't feel, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> I don't feel a big size discrepancy though. Like, you know, so often you see fighters cut weight, cut weight, cut weight, and then put it all on before mm. they get in the ring. But what you would say Darudian is- Darudian looks smaller than Darudian the last time we saw him. Yes. And Sensatarn looks bigger mm -hmm. than the last time we saw him. If Darudian has taken shots from Deng and, and was able to withstand four rounds of punishment, it's gonna be interesting to see if Sensatarn can do any better. However, Adam, what you did fail to mention was that Darudian did fight Tengneng yeah, once back. again. And didn't last four rounds know, at all. It, it was one round. Yeah. And I think maybe after that fight, he was like, you know what? I'm going to cut seven kgs and try to fight somebody like Sensatan next. Not a bad I idea. I can't blame him. Not a bad idea. Sensatan, 18 fights here at Thai Fight, 17 victories, 12 wins by a knockout, just one loss, which was a knockout. Sasha Moisa, the current WRC champion, of course, with that knockout. Yeah, he's a great fighter. It just goes to show that Sensodan can be knocked out. Darudian going for it, or should I say Darudian? <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. You're pretty good at rolling those Rs, too. Give it a try. Good right body shot there from Darudian to the body of Sensodan. And a the takedown there. See, Sensodan already feeling the power of someone who's a little bit heavier than what he's used to fighting. Yeah, for sure. Oh, there's a cut. Don't know where that come from. A cut over the left eye of Darudian. That's the time. Gonna trick down Darudian. He's eager to hit. Tip the top there. Darudian going up high with those long legs. Looking for that right hand. Oh, oh right hand there from Sensatan. Looking for that right elbow. Backed up against the ropes. Rudian backtracking right now. As Sensatan moves in. Yeah, it's so interesting. Like, Rudian's been super aggressive. Seemed like he was kind of giving Sensatan a hard time. And yet, here we are halfway to the first round. Rudian's bleeding, and he just got stunned by Sensatan as well. Good movement there from Sensatan. Rudian swinging. Sensatan blocking, looking for that elbow strike once again. Catches him with it that time, within the Oh, hit him there. And again. Darudian's in trouble. Another cut, another right eye this time for Darudian. Well, it's 2020, Aaron. We're all about equality. Cut both those eyes. Seems like that super aggressive approach of Darudian really backfired for him in this first round. Oh, oh down. Uppercut. Stunning uppercut there from Sensatan. Darudian down. Sensatan was ready to celebrate. The blood is dripping off the face of Darudian. End of the first round. Could it be a case of save by the bell for Darudian? Here at Thai Fight begins. Highlights of that first round, Center Town going to town on the face of Darudian. Sense of town. <laughs> that was what knocked him down, that uppercut. Darudian was blocking what he thought was the left hand that was coming. And then Santa Town was able to sneak it through. There we go. Boom. Sneaky did the job. Darudian went down. But it's not all she wrote. Down Rudian. 
down. <laughs> okay, no, whoa, down. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> Centre time looking very comfortable at this weight, I've got to say. I thought he might have struggled, but not at all, it seems. No, he's looked fantastic. Centre time looking for those low kicks, take away the base of the taller fight. Darunian, though, pushing, swinging, aiming for that huge head that Centre time possesses. Bit of a low one there. Rudian already looks like he's been through a 10 fight, 10 round war. Stopping Jack from the Iranian. Back in that right hand, but this is the looks, match. Like, looks like he headbutted a meat grinder. <laughs> the swinging left hand, then a right there, but look at that weight, sense of time comes up and then moves forward. Nice double left hook there from sense of time, followed by a knee to the body. Sensatan willing to block those shots from Darudian so he can get closer and then counter strike. Yeah, I really think he wants to finish here. He's really hunting it now. He was he was really calm in the first round, picking his spots. But here in the second, he's really stalking Darudian. Well, this is how Darudian started in the first round. Fast and furious, looking for that knockout, looking to do damage. Sensatan was able to weather the storm, or the foot of the storm, and then move in and eventually knock down. Oh, exactly. right How does oh, that again. mean? Right here, right Rudy now, in trouble. Set the time. Elbows, here we go. Derudian's riding a wave of punishment in there at the moment. Oh, oh. he caught him with a spinning back elbow. Wow, Sensatan took that. A Hail Mary strike from Darudian. Sensatan doesn't seem to be affected by it. Must have hurt. That was, seems to connect perfectly, I do. Oh, right high kick there with an assist from the rock. Another uppercut, two uppercuts, a third, a fourth. He is the thunderstorm, but now his eyes must be clouded over. I can see Talanchai in the corner there of Centre Town to follow PK Sanchai stable mate. Come to tie fight, please. <laughs> Sorry, it's time for Wanda. <laughs> and steal him, please. <laughs> that jab there from Darudian. Up a cut again from Centre Town. Beautiful combination. Coming underneath oh, and then over the top. Either. Oh, down goes Darudian. That's beautiful right. knee to the body. And it's all over! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sets the time, PK, Sunshine, Muay Thai with a knockout here. A beautiful display of destruction and terror. Sets the time. Goodness, what a knee to the body by Sensatarn to finish this fight. Just think about it, you're tired already, and then someone just whips out a knee straight through your body. Saps all the energy, all the air out of your body. Down you go. The winner is Sanson Hart PK, Santai Moore, Tai Yen from Thailand! Congratulations, Sensatan PK, Sanchai, Muay Thai Jim. Perfectly executed. Can't wait to see him back here at Thai Five. ไประเบิดความมันกันต่อดีกว่าคู่ต่อไปคาดเชื่องเหมือนเดิมนะฮะสังเวียนเลือดตัวจริงพบกันพิกัดน้ำหนัก72กิโลกรัมนะครับยอดมวยจากอินเดียก็มา
รู้วิชามวยไทยเหมือนกันนะฮะแล้วก็เคยใช้วิชามวยไทยนะสยบนักมวยยุโรปมาแล้วหลายคนด้วยซ้ําถือว่าเป็นตํานานคนหนึ่งเลยคนนี้เขาว่าอย่างนั้นฉะนั้นเรามาพิสูจน์นะฮะบนผืนผ้าใบตรงนี้ดีกว่าโค้ดมวยตำนานคนนี้นะครับขอเสียงต้อนรับจอมอึดจากอุตราขันอาติงโกจอมอึดจากอุตราขันประเทศอินเดียจากอินเดียจะทําให้เพลียได้ไหมมาดูกันเลยดีกว่านะครับแข็งมากๆคนนี้กลางที่ห่างหายไปจากเวที2ปีครับจะเป็นยังไงกลับมาแล้วนะครับทุกคนต่างรอคอยการกลับมาของเขา <coughs> นี่คือขุนศอกในตำนานครับเชียร์กันดังๆเลยนะครับต้อนรับขุนศอกอัมมิดสยกภูมิพันธ์ม่วงพันวงขุนศอกอัมพิตประเทศไทยI'd like to remind everyone before you speak, Adam, to take those selfies, boys and girls. Take those selfies with t i e Fight in the background. Post it on social media. The coolest picture. The most flamboyant? No, I was just thinking about selfies, actually. <laughs> we'll win a prize. t i e Fight will contact you and give you a prize. As you were. Yeah, sure. Uh, there is Aten Gaur, 23-year-old fighter from India. 179 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 72 kilograms. His record: 68 fights, 55 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. Indian Muay Thai. Is that a big? There's a big scene over there. No idea. And he will be taking on Sayok Pompamuang. Windy sport. 
a returning legend, a legend of Muay Thai, 36 years old, 173 centimeters tall, 317 fights, 266 victories with 49 losses and two draws. A former Rajanam Nurm super lightweight champion. Do you know what year? 2007, 13 years ago. I was gonna say 1993. <laughs> you know, it's interesting, Aaron, it's all perspective, right? I mean, we saw Sayok here at TIE Fight years ago and it seemed like he was coming towards the end of his career. Well, the last and then yep. it was years since then he's back and he's still four years younger than Sanjay. So it's all perspective. True. <laughs> That's very true. Last time we saw him here at Thai Fight was 2018 in Rome. And previous to that, he fought at Thai Fight in Bangkok where he got knocked out by Chana John. Actually looks in very good shape. Better shape than I've seen him in for a long time. Thai Fight champion of 2014. Izuzu Cup Super Fight champion of the same year. Also, you know what else benefits him, Aaron, is that despite as age goes on and your body gets softer, your left elbow never gets softer. That's true. <laughs> right hook there attempt from Sayok. He has 35 fights here at Thai Fight with 29 victories. Looking for that knee. Yeah, it was an interesting return for Ikuzang earlier here tonight. He won in round two via a knockout. Sayot looking to do the same, I'm sure. I'm gonna say that Monkon on his head must have been tight. You can still see the imprint something all the way around his head. And for Aten Gar, I'm sure that the Indian matchmaking Sayok wasn't the result that he wanted. Body shot there from Sayok. Sayok going to work here. And there was that left elbow blocked by Gar. Sike again, you can see he's teeing up, looking to strike to the body, to the deli belly, as it were. I like that. <laughs> Swing and a miss there from the legendary Sayok. Swing and a miss and a hit from Gar. And Gar went to the body as well. Nice kick, nice left kick from Sayok. Looking for that left elbow, Adam. Back in Gore into the corner. Don't they say the power oh, is the last trouble, to go? Trouble. All that body work is starting to pay dividends. Gore is down. Is he out? Yet. Yet. Deep breath from the Indian fighter. Two left knees came in from Sayok that had the Indian goes on need, his knees. I'm going to say goes going to need the bell. Oh, a beautiful right hand and another. And again, oh, oh, right oh. back to the body. And the ref decides to call That's it. That's uh, interesting. I mean, I feel like if he would have just been a little bit more patient, it would have unfolded naturally. But there you have it. A return by Sayok. 36 years old. Looks great. Looks in tremendous shape. And a TKO victory here in the second round. Perfect way to make a comeback. Let's take a look at how that fight ended. Well, he targeted the body from the very off. Here's the two left knees that, oh, the first one is the one that really hurt him. Second one was just a bonus. And I'm guessing we're going to see the flurry to the body. No, this is the knee again. Straight to the non basket. No, it was rapid fire left and right. And then he finished it off with a knee and the referee took pity on the fight and there was no complaints at all from Gore. A beautiful combination there. Three, four, five strikes to the body. Welcome back, Sido. Don't forget folks, take those selfies, post them onto the Thai Fight page and you could win a prize. More fights still to come here at Thai Fight Begins.
ไทยไฟบิกินนะครับลุยกันเราที่คู่ต่อไปนะครับพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก78กิโลกร,รัมคนนี้ยอดมวยมันนะครับมีดีกรีเป็นแชมป์สภามวยไทยโลกมาก่อนด้วยจากรัสเซียฉะนั้นหมัดต้องหนักแน่ๆน,นะฮะหมัดสยบทุกคนที่ขวางหน้าขอเซ็นต้อนรับมีขาวจอมอึดมิคาเอลเวดิลเวตรีล่ามีขาวจอมอึดประเทศรัสเซียเห็นไหมอะดีนะเราเดินเข้ามาช้าจริงๆโอ้โหผมรอเชือกเส้นสุดท้ายเลยเนี่ยเมื่อกี้อืมอย่าให้เกี่ยวนะโอ้ฟิตมีความฟิตมากนะผมบอกก่อนนะโอ้สูงยาวข่าวดีสปริงตัวเนี่ยโชยเห็นแล้วว่าเฮ้ยมานะมานะสเต็ปเนี่ยมานะผมต้องเบิกตัวนักมวยท่านนี้แล้วนะครับมาเลยดีกว่ามาดูดีกรีกันก่อนนี่คือหนึ่งในแชมป์อีสุดครับซูเปอร์ไฟล์ออลดิวอีสุดดีแม็กซ์พลานุภาพคลิกโลกชายาของเขามังกรปากน้ำโพขอเสียงปรบมือต้อนรับเต็งหนึ่งสิเจสายกุ้งเต็งหนึ่งสิเจสายรุ้งมังกรปากน้ำโพประเทศไทยSo you can see Mikhail Vitrilla, 29-year-old Russian fighter, 188 centimeters tall, weighed in at 78 kilograms with a record of 38 fights, 28 wins, 7 losses, and 3 draws. He has fought here a Thai fight before in Phuket versus Tang Nang last year. In the famous two KOs for the price of one, where Tang Nang knocked out both Vitrilla and the referee. And I would say that two is an unlucky number for Vitrilla, as he also lost his previous fight in a different organization against two fighters. And now he's having his second chance to fight against Tang Nang. 
That's my bit of numerology for the night. <laughs> and there you can see a slimmer Tengneng, has to be said. 28-year-old from Nakhonsawan province, 180 centimeters tall, 98 fights. 80 victories, 14 losses, and four draws. He has had 26 fights at Thai Fight, 24 victories with 18 knockouts, and just two losses. Former Zuzu Cup Super Fight Champion of 2015 at 70 kilograms. And last year, he was the champion at 81 kilograms. Really has fluctuating weight. I should ask him what his secret is, because as he's getting older, he <laughs> seems to be losing weight. Like Adam said, Petrilla uh, and Teng Ning have fought before in a rematch when Teng Ning made his comeback to Thai fight. But yeah, Teng Ning looks very slim. They're obviously uh, doing wonders over at Fairtex. They're just like locking him in a room. <laughs> He's just like, feed me, and they're like, no. <laughs> but you know, it's we have seen him when he was at his highest weight, sometimes have to go up against fighters that were just naturally bigger than him because that was sort of their frame when they cut weight. And sometimes he was getting hit and getting hurt. Well, I think see. the idea behind it is if he can fight at a little bit lower weight, and he's just going to melt everybody. And he can retain that power that he possesses in that left hand. Exactly. Then, yes. Exactly. The chill looks very tall. He is, <laughs> he is very tall. 188 centimeters, 8 centimeter height advantage for the Russian. Tang Nang looking to go up high with that left kick. Tang Nang just taking his time. And as soon as he sees an opening, he's going to unleash that left hand. We know it's coming. I mean, Petrilla knows it's coming as well, but... It's really difficult oh. to contend with. Beautiful left kicks there from the Thai fighter. It's a oh. nice combination from Petrilla. Yeah, acknowledged as well there from Tang Nang. There's that left hand, that once in combination. Body shot from Teng Lung, looking for that left. High kick, trying to make the tree, drop the guard so he can then go in with that left hand. Stalking his Teng Lung. You can see that Vitrilla is circling. Oh, there's that left hand. He's Trilla. circling around the ring. Looks very uncomfortable. Moving away from the left hand of Tang Nang. Now he's going in the wrong direction, though. We've seen people try and circle every which way but loose. <laughs> Tang Nang always <laughs> finds that mark. That shows you the respect that these fighters have. It's clearly part of the game plan for Petrilla to circle in that direction, away from the left-handed power of Tang Nang. Oh, another left hand there. Flurry from Petrilla, but not hurt from Tang Nang, one iota. Inside kick. Petrilla ducks down and grabs a hold of Tang Nang. Tang Nang's left hand is just like a Timberland beat. It just hits different. It's like a 10 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Reference there from Adam. Oh, spinning back in and then a right. So yeah, the hammer fist. That last right hand connected for Petrilla. It's already been a better fight for him this time around than his last outing in Phuket. Then Petrilla drops a hold. End of round one. Left kicks, left hands. Not able to drop the trail right now, but you know what's going to happen in the second round. He's going to come out swinging. We're going to see much of the same from the Thai fighter. The trail is going to do, have to do his best to be elusive. I mean, yeah, he's done a pretty good job of that so far. Trying to stay on the outside and use his movement oh, to. Beautiful one two there from Teng Lung. Almost a super, Superman 
tight punch from the tie. Windmill type left hand from the Russian. See, every time Tang Min try to clock that left hand, the Triller moves away. The ref's like, stop circling to your left. <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> That seems a bit. Looked more to me like he just got caught off balance and knocked off his yeah, feet. Yeah, I'd have to see a replay of that. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! He did that same move in the first round and caught him. He repeated it here in the second, and it went even better for him. He throws a spin with like a fake spinning back fist right into a straight right hand. And down goes Tangna. That was definitely a knockdown. That was, yeah, that thought, one deserved you know, the count. I thought the referee was going to step in and just call it off. No, I think he was preventing Tangna from just standing up quickly and saying, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, there's no count. Two interesting counting decisions by the ref here in round two. Well, he's losing his fight now. He's playing the... Well, I mean, not. He's not. If they counted that first oh, game as a knockdown, he's not. Should've, which is, which makes it knockdown. really, yeah, it shouldn't have been. Pumping that jab is Petrilla. Definitely has a dose of confidence now. That was a good left hand. Now on his Petrilla again. Oh, beautiful left hand for Technic. But Trey's yeah. on the back foot! Yeah, that put a stop oh. to his forward motion. He's looking for a takedown now. <laughs> literally, he literally punched him into MMA. <laughs> <laughs> Big Teng then scores foot in the water. Left elbow from the tie. Oh, oh and he did it again! Oh, my God! <laughs> he did it again and he landed again, but... Tang Neng also landed and down goes Petrillo. Tang Neng is looking to jump in and finish the job. I don't know, Adam. I think he's okay. I don't think oh, he's okay. I don't yeah. think he's okay. Well, Medic was a good Wow, interesting <laughs> fight, interesting <laughs> round. <laughs> Take Nick. Gets knocked down. The tree gets knocked down two times. The ref calls it. What that more was, can you ask for? You're getting your money's worth. That was an incredible point. round. <laughs> There's that spinning back fist. Oh, right hand, look. unbelievable. Caught in foot. The whole crowd just went silent. It's an incredible technique, really, if you think about it, because he carries all that momentum from the spin into another right hand. I mean, I'm surprised we've never seen that before. We've seen it. We've seen it attempted before. We've just never seen it connect. And I think that was the second one. That was actually after the spin. He connected, but Tang Neng also connected. There's the left hand to the chin. Left Petrillo on the floor looking for his contacts. The ref went down too, you know, not the same thing. The winner is... One of the most entertaining fights we've seen here at Thai Fight. Congratulations though to the winner from Thailand, Peng Nung Sit Jai Sarong. Here at Thai Fight begins.
สู่ไทยไฟบิกินอีกครั้งหนึ่งนะครับคราวนี้มาลุยกันต่อที่คู่ต่อไปคู่ที่8แล้วนะครับ,รบพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก71กิโลกรัมนะครับคราวนี้มาเป็นยอดมวยจากบราซิลกันบ้างต้องเป็นสายเตะนะฮะสายซุ่มสายแซมบ้านะมันจะแบบมีเจาะยางมาแล้วแต่คราวนี้เนี่ยเตะหนักเหมือนกันเป็นจอมเตะเลยเตะเหมือนกันใช่ฉะนั้นต้องต้อนรับกันเลยเขาคือจอมเตะจากซานโตสครับนาชาโกเมสนาชาโกเมสจอมเตะจากซานโตสประเทศบราซิลแล้วจอมเตะนะฮะขาแข็งแน่นๆมาด้วยสมาธิอันแน่วหน้าเลยนะครับดังนั้นต้องเจอกับนักมวยคนนี้เลยนะฮะเป็นยอดมวยจากจันทบุรีนะครับครับถ้าคุณได้ดูเขาชกเนี่ยคุณจะกลับไปนอนละเมอเลยโอ้โหสอกฟันสอกหมัดหมัดสอกโอ้โหสายรัวสอกรัวสอกเป็นปืนกลเป็นปืนกลเลยนะครับครับผมเสียงประมือต้อนรับด้วยนะครับนี่คือขุนสอกทะลวงฟันกิติสอจอดานระยองNata Gomez, 29 years old, fighting out of Santos, Brazil. He stands 182 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 71 kilograms. His record: 60 fights, 45 wins, 15 losses, and zero draws. He is an international Sing Batong champion in Muay Thai. And there you can see his opponent, 
Kitty, Sojo Dan Rayong. Originally from Chantaburi province in Thailand, 182 centimeters tall, 89 fights, 78 victories, 11 losses, and zero draws. 11 fights here at Thai Fight with 10 knockouts, and six of those have come in the very first round. Only one decision. And that was when he won the 2019 Thai Fight Car Check Championship at 70 kilograms. I've, had, I've got this marked down as a potential fight of the night, Adam. I was actually, you just stole my words. I was oh. going to say, uh, in the fight prep, Aaron told me to look at this as a potential fight of the night. And that he told me basically, watch out for Nata Gomez. And I replied, what, what did I do? I don't I don't want any smoke. And he was like, no, what? Kitty needs to watch out. And I was yeah, like, oh, that's much better. Not only does it come from Phuket Fight Club, where we've, where Barbara comes from, uh, where she comes from, where she trains out of, and, uh, and you know, and as we talked about it before, the other Brazilians, Lobo, and uh, Steel, Kajiba. Sharp and Steel. Yeah. They've got a lot of really good fighters. And he has fought another fighter by the name of Petkantas M. Uden, who's a well-respected fighter on uh, Super Champ, and he actually drew with him, so. He looks like he's going for the uh, kitty back tattoo, but he's only got a half finish so far. A lot of good creden credentials for Nata Gomez. But that man on a roll. But he has been getting hit, I would say, in his he's past been few fights. Yeah, he's been putting himself in a lot of danger, to he, inflict danger. Yes, he really likes to have that exciting style. As you mentioned, so many first round finishes. His fights are always so explosive, so quick. Similar to PTT in a lot of ways. But when you fight in that style, you take a lot of damage. So we'll see what his approach is in this fight. Round one. Yeah, getting in close straight away, looking for those elbows. Yeah, you're going to want to keep an eye on Kitty's downward right elbows. You've already seen a few. It's his favorite technique by far. It's Real. what he uses to cut his opponents. It's what he uses to end them. Three or four elbows already. Maybe a fourth, fifth right there. Jumping in recklessly, like you said, Adam. It was a brutal finish the last time we saw Kitty a couple of months back. A first round knockout where he sliced open. Blood was pouring from his opponent. Attempted left high kick there from Gomez. He's staying cool. I was going to say, Gomez doing a really good job of keeping those hands high. Trying to deflect a lot of those strikes. Kitty clearly head hunting. Again, looking for that elbow. I like the way that Gomez is putting, lifting his hands up and blocking or deflecting a lot of the shots that Kitty is throwing right now. Yeah, I was going to say it would be a good time right now for Kitty to maybe change his approach and go to the body. It's not really his style though, is it? Not at all. <laughs> that kind of attempt from Kitty, I think that was just a slip right there. Yeah, I was going to say Gomez clearly read the scouting report. He's protecting his head as much as he can. And he looks strong as well. He landed a little bit of an elbow on the break there. Kitty not having his own way right now. Look at the way he's blocking those yeah, shots, he's Gomez. Even bringing, he's even bringing in his offhand cross body to protect his his head. So like I said, he's he's clearly aware of what Kitty's MO is. And Kitty is finding it difficult to find the mark due to the fact that Gomez is doing such a tremendous job of covering his face. Oh, he got through oh. there, though. And that time, he got through foot, and down goes Gomez, but he's not out. Straight back to his feet. The only thing I would say is that Gomez has to attack more. Exactly. He's been defending and doing a great job, as it said, but you're not going to win the fight by doing that. No, the worry is, oh, oh down he goes again. There is a well under the left eye of Gomez. Back up again. Kitty trying to celebrate, but he's got unfinished business here in the ring. I guess that's the difference, blocking with gloves and blocking card check rope hands. Yeah, but I mean, I go back to what you say, Aaron, too. You can't win a fight just by defending well. He hasn't really been able to give something to, for Kitty to chew on. 
leap bait kick zoom. Exactly. You Good see Zink moving forward now. He knows. It's now or never. He's coming up there. Uh oh, but down he goes again. That's three times in one round. The ref says, I've seen enough. And how wrong was I? This boy Kitty just <laughs> keeps getting more impressive and impressive. That time, that was he wasn't, very as you said, fight. he wasn't like what, what you said in the last fight, where he was bum rushing his opponent and getting caught. He was picking his shots, finding the time, strategizing, and the way just did three knockdowns to a very, very good fighter. Kitty saw Jordan Rion. He's just flying right now. Is there anyone who can stop him? I think a few of these times Gomez will look back at this and think why did the strike use a throw a counter strike? Not being harsh. No, I mean, I wonder if there was a certain mentality where he felt like if he could weather the storm early, that he'd have a chance to then mount his own attack, but it, it never came. Even I mean, that. look at that. that. He caught that on the hand, and it just went through his head. And that also goes to what you were saying, Aaron, about these roped hands do not offer much, if any, protection. Now, if that would have been a glove, maybe it would have cushioned the blow. And he would have gone down via a jab if that was a glove. I'm pretty sure of it. That's why Karchiak is so exciting, yet so dangerous. The winner is... The Kitty saw John Dan Rayo. โดยคู่นี้เริ่มคนแรกก่อนนะพิการน้ำหนัก69กิโลกรัมนะฮะเป็นยอดมวยจากรัสเซียซึ่งเราคัดมาแล้วเชิงหมัดไม่เป็น2รองใครขอเสียงต้อนรับมีขาวจอมตะปบวลาดิเมียโอบาเรนวลาดิเมียโอบาเรนมีขาวจอมตะปบประเทศรัสเซียปบแล้วครับคนเดียวครับต้องลุยกับนักชกชาวไทยชั้นนี้เลยนะครับดิกรีคืออดีตแชมป์อินสตูดิโอครับออนิวอินสตูดิโอดีแม็กซ์พลานุภาพคลิกโลกครับสถิติการชกนะครับ9ไฟที่ผ่านมาชนะ9ไฟและเป็นการชนะน็อกทั้งหมดวันนี้จะมาเพิ่มสถิติได้หรือไม่ครับปรบมือดังๆต้อนรับด้วยสลามร้ายแห่งเมืองชนปตทวอลรุจินวงโอ้
วอลุจิระมงฉลามร้ายแห่งเมืองชนประเทศไทยIn the white corner, Vladimir Oparin, 37-year-old fighter from Russia, 176 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 69 kilograms. His record, 54 fights, 40 wins, 12 losses, and two draws. I have an immense amount of respect for him getting in there at 37. I'll tell you what, I treat every sock as a challenge, Aaron, and <laughs> this man's in there fighting PTT. Yeah. Nothing but respect. They can see PTT for Ruji Ruang, 23-year-old, originally from Chonburi province in Thailand, 178 centimeters tall, with 149 fights under his belt. This will be his 150th fight, 119 victories, 29 losses, and one draw. He was the 26th Azuzu Cup champion at 67 kilograms. The Azuzu Cup super fight champion as he defeated Pikes, and we were here at Thai fight. Also the Thai fight champion of 2016, 2017, and also of 2019. A fighter that when he burst onto the scene here at Thai fight was just an absolute demolition ball of a human being knocking out everyone in his sight. And then all of a sudden, put to a halt, he lost himself via, via a knockout and then he lost a little bit of his confidence, but then came back and it's been uh, normal service from then on in. I don't think he's... He's still getting clipped, though. Yeah. He is still getting clipped. I don't clipped. think he's lost his confidence as much as he's just oh, become a really? little bit... I think he's just become a little bit less reckless. It's almost like that feeling when you've never lost of just being unbeatable. I think, I think, yeah, the invincibility the shield. The invincibility wore yeah. off. I, I, I still think he's a fantastic fighter and a real killer. We'll see that here tonight, most likely. This has got over and back into a corner, connected with right hands. Both fight. fight. Both fight is swinging. Neither really connected or doing a lot of damage. Opera moving forward. PTT trying to push him back with that jab. Good right hand there from PTT. I'm looking for a right elbow that might have cut off him. That looked like it hit him perfectly on the eyebrow. Again, Oprah looking for that left jab. And again, and connecting straight to the nose of PTT. Yeah, you can already see a hematoma on the head of Oprah where that elbow landed. Oh, again, PTT is getting caught out of those long arms. Oh, oh my. my. Goodness. Right hand, and Oprah goes down. Back to his feet. Yeah, he would have just felt that. That hematoma as he wipes away the sweat. Trying to compose himself. Not get taken out in the first round. PTT on the attack. Looking for an elbow. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Times two. Medic. And that's it. He's Medic. He is out. That's out of, he is out cold. That's the gnarliest knockout we've seen tonight. He's got his mate in there shaking his legs out because he is in oh. trouble. Oh, goodness. Let's hope he hasn't swallowed his tongue. Oh, he's got his eyes are rolling back in his head. This is... Oh, this is serious. Never want to see this. They got the mouthpiece out. He stretches out as well now, folks. So he's, his head is off. He's still, he still looks unconscious. He is breathing. The way he banged his head on the floor as well. Oh, no. Yeah, that's when you really need those superhero refs that jump in there, prevent the head from coming down. I think we've only seen the stretcher brought out, oh, maybe three times there at Thai Fight. Once for Petsamui, for Sentatan, and, uh, and now. And let's hope that Vladimir Oparini is okay. That's the worst one we've ever seen. Yeah, I, I think that for sure is the worst one that we've seen. The winner is Congratulations to Speed Team Tivo. Remember, folks, this is the art of eight limbs. This is one of the deadliest martial arts in the world. And I do think we forget that sometimes with some of the, you know, the lights and the, the explosions that we see. But a little reminder for everyone at home how dangerous Boy Thai can be, especially with, you're 37? with rope pants. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's hope. แต่ว่ามาดูคู่ต่อไปดีกว่าโค่นมวยแห่งสยามของเราวันนี้มีผู้ท้าชิงมาครับเป็นยอดมวยจากอิหร่านนะฮะอยากจะมาซดแรงบัตรกับโค่นมวยหน่อยอ้าวขอเสียงต้อนรับครับเสือร้ายจากเปอร์เซียอิสมาอิลกาเจเสือร้ายจากเปอร์เซียประเทศอิหร่านสุดท้ายวันนี้ตอนรับยอดมวยจากอิหร่านเป็นคนแรกครับแน่นอนนะครับคู่สุดท้ายเราต้องเป็นคู่เด็ดแน่นอนบุคคลคนนี้เนี่ยนะเชื่อไหมว่าเวลาเขาอยู่บนผืนผ้าใบบนเวทีมวยทางนี้นะฮะครับเหมือนเดินท่องเที่ยวอยู่บนสวนดอกไม้เชื่อครับเขาจะแบบมีความพลิ้วไหวฟาบฟาบฟาบฟาบฟาบอย่างนี้เลยครับเขาเป็นตุ้นลงกันเนี่ยครับทำไมพลิ้วอะไรกันครับคุณเขามีความคุณแสดงเขามีความสุขได้ดีอยู่บนนี้ลีลาบนเวทีครับให้รู้สึกว่าเราดูแลเพลิดเพลินเหมือนมองผีเสื้อที่ทุ่งดอกไม้ถูกต้องและนี่คือฉายาของเขาเลยนะครับกับโคตรมวยแห่งสยามแสนชัยพีเคแสนชัยบวยไทยเยี่ยมเสีย
I'm having a great time being back at Thai Fight. I'm having a great time. I just love Sanchai so much. I know this is going to sound like a weird comparison, but he's like he's like pizza to me. I just can't imagine watching Sanchai fights ever getting old. I didn't think you were going to say that. That's so <laughs> unexpected. Is it that much of a stretch? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's never, it's never going to get old. Pizza never gets old. <laughs> Sanchai never gets old. It will always be amazing. <laughs> and there you can see in the white corner, Esmail Ganji, 31-year-old fighter from Iran, 170 centimeters tall, weighing in at 67 kilograms, has a professional record of 46 fights, 31 wins, 13 losses, and two draws. And he'll be taking on pizza. I mean, he'll be taking on <laughs> Sanchai, PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim. Originally from Maha Sarakan province here in Thailand, 163 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 367 fights, 316 victories, with 49 losses and two draws. Thai fight Kajuk champion of 2016 and the glove champion of 2017, 18 and 19. He's also a two-time fighter of the year and also a four-weight stadium champion. Just listen to that. Sanchai Pizza Sanchai Muay Thai Gym. Doesn't it not have a good <laughs> ring to it? Is that what P stands for in PK? <laughs> you know what it is, Aaron? I've been in Thailand for 10 years now. And, and I sometimes forget I'm in Thailand because I'm just so used to it now. And when I see Sanchai come out and I hear his music and I see his dance, it just gives me that same <laughs> sort of lovely feeling uh, that I had when I first so came out American. to this. <laughs> when I first came out to this country. My goodness. Okay, folks, final fight of the evening. And the 10th fight of Thai fight begins in the black corner. The legendary Sanchai, PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym. I'm waiting. Okay, <laughs> in the white corner, Esmael Ganji from Iran. 
see all the fight. Well, majority of the fighters have come out now to show their support. See, but they feel the same way I do. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Santa Tan over there, Tao and Chai, of course, from PK Sanchai, Muay Thai, Jim, Ikuzang, Sayot. 40 year old man, legend. Arguably the greatest Muay Thai fighter to ever live. A lot of people would say he is the greatest. The shuffle's out early. Outside kick from the goal. Right body kick from Genji. Tempted sweep there from Sanchai. Jumping low kick, one of the trademark shots. Axe kick as well. Lots of things, lots of movements. I was going to say, Gunch has done a good job staying on his feet, avoiding those two crafty sweep attempts from Sanchai. Cartwheel kick coming out in the first round. Why wow, not? he's done it all already. Usually it takes him a while to work through his list. Oh, no. Uh oh. Throw there from, from Ganji. Just let him know. Let him know that he's there. Ganji has been on Super Champ. Also on Channel 8. Oh, don't forget, boys and girls. Don't forget. Take Selfie. those selfies. That's right. Take those selfies. Show a picture of yourself watching TIE Fighter and upload it and send it into the comments if you want. I want to see About a selfie a of you page. watching Sanchai while eating pizza while watching Thai Fighter. <laughs> Left kick to the head from Sanchai. I don't know if you noticed, but I work here, so that might prove difficult. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give it a try. Into the clinch they go. Ganja looking for those knees. Sanchai, not having any of it. Looks for a left body shot. Left knee there from the goal. Another solid left knee there from Sanchai. Another left hand to the body. Ganjai ducks, oh sorry, Ganji ducks under, almost head put in Sanchai that time. Push kick. Sanchai working the body. Beautiful combination from Sanchai. She punches in the knee. To the corner of Ganji telling the circle right elbow there from Sanchai. Another push kick to the body, it just never stops. Sanchai having fun, the crowd's having fun. Ganji, not as much fun. Again, Sanchai looking for that right elbow, just misses the mark. End of round one. <laughs> round two. I'm just gonna skip the highlights for this one. So I'm gonna miss by Ganji. Sunshine looking for that left hand again. Again, tries to take down Ganji. Left high kick, that hurt him. He's covering up. Oh, no. That's a beautiful feint by Sanchai to set up that high left kick. Going down low. Right hand, trying to fall over the knee. He's throwing strikes on all levels. Ganji doesn't know what to guard against. Inside high kick there from Ganji. Then a question mark kick, but. Caught him on the glove. Good solid day there from Sunshine. Then going Searching down. for the body and then a knee up high. Beautiful combination there. There's blood on the face. Changing levels. Now. Constantly changing techniques. the body shot there and again faking the cartwheel kick toying with him right now is Sanchai not much of a response either from his opponent yes 
Sanchez really in his element now. As you said, Aaron, just mixing up levels, mixing up techniques. He's got Ganji confused. He's got him on the defensive, even though he can't really defend against these strikes that Sanchez is showing. He's got him stuck in his own head, as we see so often when he fights. Fighters kind of get trapped in their own minds, trying to figure out what's coming next. And the offense of Ganji has just completely oh! shut down. And there's Sanchai going for a little bonus money. <laughs> 100,000 baht. What's that in dollars? 100,000 baht would be about 3,000. How many pizzas is that? A lot of pizzas. <laughs> 30,000. 30,000 dollars? 3,000. 3,000. 3,000 dollars. Big deep breath there from Ganji. Blood coming from the nose. Not much of a response at all in the second round. He's been taking a lot of punishment. Again, face Again. the cartwheel. Must be exhausted. Oh, left elbow there from Sanchai. Swinging overhand left. One thing you can say for Ganji, he really does have tremendous balance. Sanchai's gone for that sweep three, four, five times in this fight. End of round two. Ganji stays on his feet. Plenty of mastery on display in that second round from Sanchai. Really in his element, really feeling comfortable. Totally shut down the offense of Ganji. He's just doing his best to try to make it through the round. Here we go, round three, third and final round of the fight. Final round of the night here at Thai Fight Begins. All good things must come to an end. Nice push kick there from Sanchai. Another good left kick there from Sanchai. Pivots to the side of Genji. He is a master of footwork. I don't think we've ever seen anyone in Muay Thai the way Sanchai moves around the ring. Left kick to the body, then the left hand. Looking for a knee, no, it's an elbow. Really punishing the body all the way through this fight. So crafty. Goes to the body, goes to the body, goes to the body. Then goes to the lower leg. Earns a sweep. I believe this is, will be his 56th fight. 56 straight victory. I believe so. It's more than 55. If, I remember if, calling if it he 55. Wins. If he wins. What's that? If he wins. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. And Ganji just looks defeated mentally. Tired and confused. My right, body shot there from Sanchai. There's blood on Sanchai, but it might be coming. It might it's come from, from Ganji. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Oh, beautiful shot there from Sanchai. Spinning back elbow attempt, but blocked by Ganji. Left hand gets through. Another Sanchi. nice left knee in the body. Jumping switch kick there. One of the more famous knockout highlight reel knockouts we've seen from Sanchai was, of course, the jumping switch kick. Yeah, that's really the only mark you can put against Sanchai in these last couple of years is he doesn't get knockouts nearly as much as he used to. But it doesn't stop him from dominating fights. It doesn't no. stop him from putting on masterful shows. People still flock to see him. Yeah, including, End of including the all the fighters. And final round. We will go to the judges, of course. But another we clinical performance from, in my opinion, the greatest of all time, Sanchai. PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym. <laughs> Thank you.
ปกติเนี่ยยกหนึ่งยกสองก็ไม่สู้แล้วอันนี้ยังดูเชิงพยายามแก้เกมตลอดเวลาเออแก้เกมตลอดเวลาก็ถือว่ามวยทั้งสิคู่ในวันนี้นี่นะสมชัดสี่ครับโอ้โหสมชัดสี่ทุกคู่นะครับมันทุกคู่เก่งทุกคู่เลยครับใช่ครับสำหรับใครที่กำลังจะกลับบ้านนะครับอยากแถวรูปกับนักมวยนะฮะที่ติดต่อนักมวยต่างชาตินะครับเราไปกลับมาตรงเวทีกันได้นะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะเอาลิงเข้าไปสู่เวทีใหญ่ด้วยนะครับถ่ายรูปครับรอคนอยู่นะครับComplete and our dominance from Sanchai. Ganji looking like a two-year-old with a Rubik's cube. The winners, Khon Mui, Hang Siam, Sanchai PK, Sanchai Mui Thai. ไม่เคยทำให้เราผิดหวังในปีใหม่ไลฟ์มือสองเท่าเลยนะครับผมสุดยอดครับพี่ชายขอบเกียรติท่านผู้จริงๆนะฮะขอบคุณทุกคนม